My name is Kevin Kobach. I'm with the Colorado Bureau of Investigation. We're assisting the Frederick Police Department with this case involving uh, Chris Watts. Sir, if you just introduce yourself. Uh, Dwayne Kessinger. I'm N Nicole's father. And Nicole, can you just introduce yourself for the recording? Nicole Kessinger. Steady boyfriend, you would have let people know, I think you told me before we got started, that you, you just told your dad about Chris. Um, no, I wouldn't you know. have told them. I wouldn't have told okay. people. It's too early. I mean, people... So you don't tell your friends, hey, No, because they... Yeah, people come and go. I mean, okay. dating scene these days is like... It sucks. I mean, so... No, I wouldn't. I mean, it would have to be something... With Sean for probably like six or seven months before I brought him home to my family. But I mean, this one, you were a little bit more... You said he's with two women. Did that... Was that one of your considerations for not telling anybody about him? Yeah, to me it wasn't going to be an ex extended thing. Like, if it got to the point where we were, like, dating for, like, three or four months and he's still talking about, oh, I'm going to move out and I'm going to sell the house, I think at that point I probably would have just been like, I don't think you're really, like, doing these things you say you're going to do. It's not fair. It wasn't fair to me in the first place. It wasn't fair to her in the first place. It wasn't fair to any of us in the first place. You know, it wasn't fair to his family for him to have an affair. It wasn't fair to me to have him lie to me and make me think that everything is going to plan out. But what I do know is it's just like, you know, that wasn't fair to me either because if I'd have known not even all the truth, but like obviously some of it, I wouldn't have even engaged in any of this in the first place. Is going to affect me long term. It's like, you know, I'm going to wake up every day and know that like this mom and her unborn child and these two little girls are not around anymore and it breaks my heart and then I have to think about like the consequences of his action my name is about to be like slandered for probably a while I'm like how dare you you know, you know they're gonna say oh you know you're the woman that had an affair with this man who took out his whole family I didn't know all oh, those little girls they're so little we talked uh, we talked a little bit earlier about getting some help for these things, and we can provide that. Okay. We just want to make sure uh, there's resolution. That's why we come to you guys to yeah. pound, this, and pound it down yeah, until I, there's I'm nothing left. I'm sorry that you're talking again today. I really am. I There is um, reasons for everything. It, these are not things that we like to do twice. Unfortunately, we didn't know yesterday. Um, what we know today because we need this video. But it's it, so it's, sad and she's pregnant. Oh, you know, on, on our end, we God, didn't. And they're so cute. They're so little. Like, wow. Why? 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 How? I don't even understand how you could, like, bring yourself to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to step out for a minute? No, I just need to chill with my eyes closed for a second. I can't believe this is happening. Alright, let's keep going, because we're just let's getting get, to the, like, the meat of this let's, whole situation. Let's get to the phone call on Saturday from 9 to 11. Uh, what did you guys, or pardon me, on Sunday from 9 to 11? Yeah, we talked a few times. So, okay. Sunday... I think so. I need to think. I can't even think. Take a couple breaths and take it. Take a second. Sunday night. I don't even know. I don't think I was like concerned about anything at that point. You guys had had a meal, <coughs> a nice meal the night before. You knew his wife was probably coming home late that evening. Oh, um, you know what? <clears throat> I still don't remember what we talked about. I like honestly, like we talked about so much random stuff. Like it's so hard to pinpoint some of these things. Um, I don't remember what we talked about. I do remember that was a long phone conversation that we probably talked about all sorts of stuff. Um, one mm -hmm. thing I do remember though, um, that I didn't remember earlier when I was talking to Mark. So this is like where I'm starting to remember like little bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. I, I don't Those remember. Yeah, I know. So the phone conversation, I don't remember what was in the phone conversation. Probably nothing of relevance to be honest with you, but, um... <laughs> Usually he talks to me when he's like down in the basement in his bed before he goes to bed and before I go to bed and I could hear the TV on which I thought was kind of weird. I didn't ask him. I just heard it in the background and I remember thinking and it was like right before we got off the phone. I was like, why the hell is he up? 
And there's, like, no TV downstairs, so I was like, well, maybe, so I don't no know. no TV in the basement where he usually calls you from? Yeah, and I don't know how many TVs they have. Like, I've never been in their bedroom. Like, I went upstairs once, and it was, like, to their little playroom, and I just, like, looked at it, and I was like, that's super cute that your girls have books, and that was, like, it. And other than that, I have never been in any of those rooms in that upstairs. Like, to me, it was just, like, you don't know. Like, ever. I had no... So, I don't know if he has any other TVs. I'm assuming by, like, how much other nice stuff they have in their house, it wouldn't surprise me. So, I'm not quite sure what room he was in. It was just weird to me. Because I was like, why are you watching TV right now? It is, like, super late. Yeah. Like, I just remember it being towards the end because I remember thinking, like, wow, it's really late. Do you remember how you guys accessed that? Uh, so... Once through the garage... And I think once through the front door. I think oh. the first time was through the front door, I think. And I think the second time was through the garage. Was there anything unique about either of the doors when you went into the house? Like a unique door? I Not know the they door have a itself. camera on their door. Okay, I mean, there's, I know there's a that. camera on the... Which door? I, it's on the front door, isn't it? Uh, was, but, did he use a key to access the house? No. Um, he did not. The first time I went over there... He just let me in. And then the second time, did we go through the garage? I don't remember. I've been through his garage before. I went through his front door once, though, because I remember he had just cleaned. It was the first time I went through his front door because he had just cleaned his carpets and he had moved all the furniture out of the way and the furniture was kind of in the way of the door. And he's like, the door doesn't open all the way right now. I'll move all the furniture back when the carpet dries. Uh, and the second time, I want to say we went through his garage, because I remember his garage. He, The first time, he was already there, okay. and I met up with him. And the second time, we went there together. So, the front door, I asked if he had used a key. He let me in. Okay. So, there's a, um, you know, those keypads mm -hmm. where you can enter an access code. Do you remember seeing that on his door? I like. I want to say vaguely, but to be honest with you, I don't remember. Like he let me in that day. That's that so. He never so gave long you. Ago. He never gave you the code to access his home. No. Okay. Not at all. Um, you talked about a security system. Uh, there was a uh, camera on the front door. Was that just like a, you know, what a ring doorbell is that goes to your phone? I don't even know what it looked like. I only know that it existed either because a I wasn't paying attention the first time I was over there, but b because of all the stuff that's going on right now. That's the only reason I know okay. it's in Do you existence. remember seeing any cameras anywhere in the house? No. Okay. Did he ever tell you about the alarm system or give you an access code to no. the alarm system? No. I wouldn't have asked for that. I wouldn't have wanted that anyways. So the, the uh, phone call, or where you noticed the television in the background of the yeah. phone call. Yeah. So I didn't know what room he was in, but I was just like, I just thought it was weird. Because he's always like, before I go to bed and I lay down, He's always, like, kind of trying to do the same thing. We just talk. It's, like, a really chill thing until one of us is about to pass out, and then that's, like, the end of it. Um, but it was strange because I was, like, the TV's on. I remember I was thinking, I was, like, maybe he's waiting up for her. And then I was, like, maybe not. I didn't know. I didn't. It wasn't something that, like, alerted me. It was just different from his okay. standard operating procedure. Because he, whether his wife is home or she's gone, He's always got kind of like the standard op when he calls me okay. because it doesn't really fluctuate when she's there and when she's not there. He's pretty like free reign with what he does. So anything, anything important that you recall during that conversation about the children, about his wife, about what he was doing the next day, what he had planned, anything like that? No. Did he tell you any of that information? I remember he told me he had to go to the field and not to the office on Monday morning check out like a valve or something where they think that they had a release. Something like that. Because yeah, he was like, I won't see you in the office in the morning. Because I usually, I see him, but I don't actually like talk to him. Him and his whole team are sitting in there and I don't talk to any of them. I just walk out. It's not an uncommon thing for the ops guys to like just go straight to the field. Like it happens. Like typically they go to the office, I would say like three or four days a week, but there are days where him and his other team members are not there. Or, like, I'll get in there, and some days the, the cafeteria's packed, and they're all there. And other days I get in there, and there's only, like, three or four of them. So it didn't cause you any concern that he no. said, I'm going to the field on Monday, I won't see you. That wasn't... No. That's it, happened before. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't something... I mean, and it's not just him. It's, like, that whole team. Like, you can just tell when they've got, like, a lot going on, because I'll walk in, and there'll be, like, two of them, as opposed to, like, six or seven. Do you know what he did Sunday during the day? Um, 
I don't even know what I did on Sunday during the day. I am so tired. Let me just think about this. Daniel came over Friday. I hung out with him Saturday. And then Sunday... When did Jim come in? Monday. Huh? Jim got here Monday. What did I do on Sunday? I am like drawing a blank. I'm really tired. I don't know. Can I get back to you on that? <laughs> did you? I don't know why I'm drawing a blank because I haven't slept. If I say that his, he may have uh, done something with his children, would that refresh oh, yes. your memory? Oh, yes. He went to a birthday party. Okay. Um, did you know whose house he was going to? Nope. But I know that they had a water balloon. You we went to the museum on what day? Saturday or Sunday? Sunday. Okay. That's right. So okay. this one was like, was I hanging out with you? God. Uh, Very so, memorable event, huh? Was, and I went to the gym. You shouldn't have. It was good. I had to do court day. That was the last <laughs> time I worked out, actually. When did you, did he tell you about the water balloon fight on Sunday evening during your conversation on the phone? I think so. Yeah, and he had told me about that in advance, really, so I don't know if it was Saturday that he had told me that he was going to go that birthday or, like, Friday. I just remember he was like, I got to go to this birthday party okay. with my kids. Um, any other conversation that makes sense? I mean, honestly, at this point... I'm really tired, so I know there are certain things that I need to tell you guys that we'll get to as these days progress. Yeah. Um, but in all honesty, if it doesn't stand out to me now, Today? it probably That's wasn't right. relevant. What about that 9 o'clock thing you were telling me on Monday? Oh, that he told me? Oh, yeah. Well, we'll get there. We'll get there. We're still on Sunday. So we're on Sunday. Or Sunday during the day, you had your own personal um, stuff going on mm -hmm. with your family. Mm -hmm. You never see him on Sunday, is that accurate? No, I didn't see him. What did I do the rest of the day? I came home. I think I might have just chilled at my house. I don't remember. I think I cleaned my house. I don't know. I didn't see him, though. Okay. And yeah, Saturday was the last time I saw him. Okay. Sunday, you're at home. You talk to him. From, we know we, you have a conversation mm -hmm. in the late evening hours, and mm -hmm. then you, you go to sleep mm -hmm. um, on Sunday night. Mm-hmm. When's the next time you talk with Chris? Probably Monday morning. Do you know what, what time? No, I mean, so we used to, like, randomly text each other, like, throughout the day. But we both get really busy, so some days, like, I don't hear a lot from him, and some days I don't text him until, like, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And I, I remember I didn't hear a lot from him that day, uh, which was, like, that's not out of the normal for either one of us. But at one point, I do remember he, like, texted me, and he's like, oh, it's been a really busy day, and then, like, said some other stuff, which I'm sure you will find in my text. What he said, I don't know. It wasn't obviously anything that was, like, alerting to me. But that's what I'm saying. Like, at this point, like, I remember really key things, but if it's, like, a conversation that I'm like, I don't remember exactly what was discussed, it's because it was probably just bullshit. I clocked out at 3 is what my time card said. I got home to go meet my buddy. One of my good friends was coming over my house. And he actually has a key to my house, so he was actually there when I got there. And so Jim came over. I remember, like, briefly after he got there, I checked my texts. I mean, briefly after I met up with Jim, I, like, glanced at my texts. My family's not home, or, like, my wife and kids aren't home. It was probably about 3.45 p.m. He knows when I get off of work, too, so he doesn't always bug me if I'm busy. So, and, um, so you're saying that he he would have known that you would have had your phone available to you and not been at work when he sent you that text message? Yes. So looking back at it, you think it was purposefully sent at that time? Oh, I'm and sure. There was no other communication between you and him that morning on Monday morning? Well, there, there was, but it was, like, random, it, like... But nothing about this event? No, 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 no. About, like, my mom, my wife's missing, or... No. My, anything. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Yeah, and then he goes, and so, like, they're only in the office for the morning. Like, right. some days it's longer than others, but I would say by a maximum of 7.30 every single morning, they are all gone, and they don't come back unless they have, like, a meeting or something that they have to attend. So, like, not seeing him for the rest of the day is not, like, an unnormal thing. Right. Like, but like I'm saying, like, we don't really... The only reason we interact was kind of, like, by an off-chance thing. Like, I don't work with him. Mm -hmm. um, so he... Uh, yeah, we talked, like, randomly throughout the day, but it was really sporadic, and he seemed pretty busy, so we didn't talk too much. Like I said, didn't put too much thought into it. It happens all the time. Um, waited till about 3.45, then sent that text to me. And, yes, he does know that I will be home at that point. Yeah. And I don't have to ask anything more than, Hi, Chris, my name's 
Kevin I'm, I'm, uh, or, or Jim. And I'm not saying you have to go to Jim alone. Just leave Jim alone. If, Jim if does not need to be wrapped point, up in this. If at,